Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this photograph. It's almost traceable, but the bottom part probably wouldn't come out. And they want to know how they got the lines to taper. There's a couple of ways you could do this uh, by making two hearts. So I'm going to go to Common Shape, get my heart, and draw a heart. And then you could actually, because of the tapered line, this won't be the easiest. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate and then holding down the shift key, bring that in and then hit B like in boy. And then maybe, uh, set my nudge factor on something pretty low, like 0 0.01, take the inside one and nudge it up just a hair and fill it in and you get that shape. The other way I, I was thinking about first to do it would be, and this is kind of fun to do, take your heart, go up to object and turn it into a curve, grab that node right there and right click and break it apart. So now these are like individual lines. Then grab your artistic media tool I'm going to use the one that's got pointed ends and touch my item. And then I'm going to either grow it or reduce it. The only problem I see is that the, it's creating a point right there or a curve, but we can change that. I am going to left click, right click. I'm going to go to object and break the artistic media apart. And you could actually probably even use that one but I'm going to show you how to, you could make this into a point more readily. I'm going to double click and put a point right in the middle. I'm going to delete that node and that node, and then bring this maybe down a little bit, right click on that node and turn it into a cusp. And then you could, well, I went too far on that one. Kind of make a point. Uh, you'd want them kind of even. The other way might actually be better. I'm going to delete that node and see what happens. That's pretty good. Um, let me see if I delete that node. Whoop, too much. But we could actually bring this up a little bit. And if you wanted symmetrically, you could cut this in half and, and make that work. And then let's just take the uh, Smart Fill tool and fill that in. But then I'm going to get the color. I'm actually going to make the uh, same color as the first cross. And then the Smart Fill tool made another item. I'm going to get rid of my lines. I am going to make this a little bit, I'm a little bit thicker than theirs. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate, getting a two point arrow, making a copy. And then I'm going to kind of like squeeze it in. Then this one has a less of a color. So I'm going to grab the transparency docker and I'm going to make it a little bit transparent and then just like that I'm going to take a black box turn it black go up to object order back a page pretty close mine is a little bit taller but you get the same idea anyway I hope that helped them a little bit and thank you for watching